Hi YouTube, it's Carly again, and um, this will be my third video, and it's my video on cloth wipes. Um, I have a feeling once I get started doing this, I'm going to have to do another video. This will just be like by before. Um, I'm planning on making cloth wipes, and I'm also planning on buying the cheap washcloths to use with cloth wipes. I have a couple here, I think I have about six that I've made. Um, they're just double-sided flannel that I zigzag stitched around. I have that and I have some polka dots with brown. And then I have just, this was like scrap material that I had from when I made my changing pad covers. So I made them, and they're washed, and um, I bought a couple of the disposables, the Huggies. Um, I bought this one because it kind of matches with the polka dots, kind of matches my monster thing that we're going with for the nursery. My plan is I'm going to empty these out, and I'm going to put them in Ziplocs, so... I can take them and use them for dirty hands and things like that just to use them up because I just really wanted the containers. And then I'm going to put one container downstairs and one container upstairs here in the changing area. And I plan on folding these so they pop out. And um, I'm still really struggling with whether I'm going to pre-wet or I'm going to wet as I go. I am thinking to start with, just to make life easier in the beginning, I'm going to pre-wet them um, because it's just less that you have to deal with when you're sleep deprived with a newborn. Um, so I plan on pre-wetting these to begin with, I'm pretty sure. And then we'll see how that goes if I have to start, you know, dealing with smell or mustiness or not using them fast enough or, you know, whatever from there, then I might just doing dry. And if I do decide to do dry, I have these spray bottles that I got from Green Mountain Diapers. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, where I will put the solution, the diaper solution, in my diaper bag. Which I'm thinking on the go. I'm going to use this anyway, so I don't have to worry about packing wet diaper, wet wipes every time they'll already be in there. So I'll have one bottle for my diaper spray, a uh, diaper wipe spray, and then I'll have another bottle for my back out for my diapers before I put them in my wet bag. Um, and then I'm also, I, cause this, this was my big bottle of back out that I showed in my last video. Um, I do have smaller bottles. I'm going to get a couple more of these because this is just too big just to have around and it's just bulky and just doesn't look good. So I plan on getting one more of these and I'll keep one at my diaper changing station and then one in my changing station downstairs. Because I don't plan on running up and down the stairs every time I have to change a diaper. So I'm kind of setting up two areas. So, um... Yeah. So if you have any advice on wipes and how they worked for you, um, it's the one thing that's kind of really stumped me. I don't, <laughs> I, I'm very unsure. Um, I'm also curious. This is California baby non burning, burning and calming diaper, diaper. Oh, I can't talk. Diaper area wash. For rashes, cuts, strengths, you can use full strength or you can dilute it. It has witch hazel. It's great boo-boo. It's for sensitive um, skin. Um, it also says that it can be sprayed onto a paper towel or washcloth and be used as um, a cleaner. I think it says somewhere. I don't know. Can I use this 
and in a diluted version for my wipe solution? Or do I need to buy a separate wipe solution or make it with the tea tree oil and the baby oil and stuff like that? And then I also have the California diaper rash cream, which I plan on using if I have rash problems um, with the liners in my diapers. So that's it. So if you have any advice on wipes, um, oh, my other thing about wipes was I wasn't planning on doing wipes. To tell you the truth, when I started cloth diapering, I had no idea that people used cloth wipes. It might sound shocking, but I had no idea. And I was like, oh, there's no way I'm using a cloth wipe. Like, I love Huggies wipes for my other kids. Like, it was the only wipes that I would use. Everyone else would do it too thin or too dry or too rough. And Huggies were like my go-to, and I loved them. And um, I was like, why would I not use them? And then I watched on um, another mama's video. I don't remember who. Oh, excuse me. And it said... You know, when you normally, when you're, when you're disposable diapering, you would take your wipe, you'd do your business, and then you just wrap the wipe up in the diaper and throw it in the trash. Well, what are you going to do if you have a, a disposable wipe in a washable diaper? You're going to have this wipes that you got to get rid of. It would make it so much easier to just put it in the diaper with the diaper, especially when you're out. Or throw it in the pail or just make just get rid of it at one time. But then I started thinking about when they get older and they start having thicker poops, and now not only are you going to have to deal with either a liner and flushing it or throwing it away or washing it or you know, spraying out your diapers, but you're also gonna have to worry about getting the poop off your wipes as well. So um we are a flushable white family. My kids use flushable wipes. My husband uses flushable wipes. I do on occasions when I want to get extra clean. Um, and we have no problems with septic issues. We've been using them for years, and there's no problems. And so I'm thinking that I might start using flushable wipes with my diapers so that when I go to the bathroom and just so I could just flush them when I clean out, dump out the poop. So, because I plan on linering my poop. So, not I, I don't know, I'm trying to see if I really, like, if I'm on the, the train of uh, using a diaper sprayer and having to spray everything off. It just seems like so much work. But, you know, I'm not going to get that that point yet. And so, I'm, this is kind of where I'm working to. But as of now, I plan on using these. I plan on putting them in here. And I plan on pre-wetting them. Um, for home use and then doing the dry spraying for to-go use and working into using disposable wipes along with my flush, along with my cloth ones, but for the really messy using the disposable, the flushable, sorry. So any help and advice would be greatly appreciated. All right, I look forward to doing more videos. I'll do more um, when I get my nursery done, so you can see this whole area behind me, I guess I'll do another one, but, um, yeah, so that's it, but, so I've talked a lot, but it's fun, so we'll talk to you guys later, bye.